The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 157 pounds, Jack Perry. This superstar always says there's nothing more important in the world than loyalty. Well, someone should tell him that this is WWE. Loyalty is the least valuable currency around here. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, has arrived. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Champion, Roman Reigns. This is the man who unified the WWE and Universal Championships to become undisputed WWE Universal Champion. It was a history-making WrestleMania moment, and this man has had many of those. Uh, here's a question. What has Roman Reigns done that isn't history-making? I actually agree with you, Saxton, a man who has had an indescribable impact on this industry. He's carved his legacy in stone. The Tribal Chief of the Bloodline showing off all of his hard-earned gold. And if you're hoping to take either of those titles, good luck. We've seen this superstar take advantage of every opportunity to prove himself. Yeah, Michael, there aren't many superstars who would take on the champ without the title on the line, but he sees the bigger picture and what it means for him. I expect after this match, his name will be on the lips of every higher up in the WWE. And with Roman Reigns, he constantly talks about his dominance in this division, in this industry, and time and time again, he absolutely backed it up. No matter how you feel about his tactics, you cannot deny that. You don't get this dominant without doing anything you have to do to secure the win, Saxton. The head of the table recognizes that. Just punched him right in the mouth. Enough already. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Standing shooting star. Just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Trying their opponent's arm on carefully measured double stop. Great strength being shown here. Gracious. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Facing Roman Reigns is truly one of the toughest tests there is here in WWE. He can do it here. Gets the shoulder up now. What's it going to take? Keeping a loss at bay for now. Escape here. Punch lands. Up into the fireman's carry. And back. He is just reeling from that offense. Roman turning up the pressure and the heat there. Quick return to the ring. Nicely done with the head scissors. Makes the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Top position to be caught in here. Constructing the knee there. Roman Reigns giving the people in attendance. 
fans the chance to acknowledge him. Oh, watch this display of power. some shock in the air over the fact that that didn't raise a pinfall. This is it. He kicks out at two. He just won't give up. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. A rope step. Hilo. Absolutely throwing all costs into the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Measured knee drop. Position. Oh, to the back. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Oh, that could be a knockout blow. Reigns delivers a Superman punch. Not done. Reigns put his stamp on this one. another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner. a serious accomplishment. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition. John Cena. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena! When John Cena's here, he's back where he belongs. He has shown the ruthless aggression for over two decades. At one time, the most polarizing figure in WWE history. But the WWE Universe is finally giving Cena his just due. Well, that's because he gives it 100% every night, every month, 
and every year. And his opponent, from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, one half of the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens! I think it's fair to say that Kevin Owens doesn't care about anybody but himself. Why should Kevin Owens care about anybody but himself? Nobody's helped KO. Nobody led KO to the promised land. He did it all by himself. Well, if it's deceitful, if it's underhanded, it is in the playbook of Kevin Owens. When you clash with Cena, you clash with every member of the C-Nation. Talk about facing overwhelming odds. Remember, Kevin Owens beat John Cena in his very first WWE match. Owens is not short on confidence tonight, but Cena looks to settle the score. We know Kevin Owens is never short on confidence, no matter who his opponent is. Owens said on WWE.com that John Cena has something to prove, not him. And a breaker! Good That was nasty. Vicious right form. Look out! Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. This isn't going to be pretty. Hangman's neck break. Oh, gosh. Stiff kick. Oh, the reversal by Cena. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. The springboard attack fails to land. Double leg drop. Oh! Take down. We're going to the cross base. It's cinched in. This could be over. It's not. It gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. Cena. Fly up through the air and connects. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. And he gets delivered back into the ring. What a hit from Owens. He's got him scouted. Ooh, that hurt. Shoulder tackle. He's lost some of his win now. He saw it coming from Owens. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, a oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, kick right to the spot. Kicking out there really has to make his... 
opponent question his game plan. Cena enduring some very effective offense there. Yeah, as we're getting deeper in, that prize fighter instinct of Owens had to have kicked in there. KO avoids the attack. Down they go. And again, we are seeing how bad this superstar wants to win. Owens sees Cena clearly staggered now. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens continues to build on his impressive resume. Owens said he was going to beat John Cena, walked out here, and did it. This was a battle of epic proportion. John Cena could not survive. Oh, yeah, I like this guy. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 222 pounds, Jay Blaine White. The arena's buzzing, social media's buzzing, a big fight feel in a main event level match. Well, here's what he does not want to do. Do not try to test the strength of the Almighty here tonight. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has a physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. Bobby Lashley has wasted very little time putting every other WWE superstar on notice. Bobby Lashley is all about discipline. The son of a United States drill sergeant, former uh, serviceman himself. High impact personified. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overworked. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And ready for him across the ring, we have the almighty Bobby Lashley. That's one of the most amazing things about Bobby Lashley, Corey. He's always ready. We've seen that the almighty is willing to throw down whenever, wherever, and wear down whoever he wants. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. goes up, must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. He's taking this to the floor now. 
Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Two. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And a genuine question, Corey, but how the heck do you beat a guy like Bobby Lashley? Maybe you have a chat with the man upstairs, but assuming that doesn't work, you need to prepare for a long battle and look to take advantage of any opportunity possible. Bobby Lashley can compensate for some weaknesses with pure power, but he can't cover them all. Keep your eyes peeled and strike one way up. No. Suicide dive to the outside. Oh, does it better. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Flat line. Man, face first. Big bomb. That's a bad landing. Four. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Heading up, he's thinking big. Watch out. Tremendous drop kick. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Watches a shoulder up in time. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. something here. Maybe the chance for Lashley to change the complexion of this match. He's absorbed some damage already. Lashley with the headlock. The Almighty wants to 
submission. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might be the smart move. Paul Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Effective arm drag. Has the opposition in the palm of his hand, and he knows it. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. He's expressing pain now. At this point. Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Jay Blaine White. Quite a bit of cause for celebration after a match like that. This win is huge. I'm sure they'll be posting it. Here comes L.A. Knight, a man who brings the excitement level to the max. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Yeah. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Calls himself the Megastar. Well, he won't be one of those in the fashion world, but L.A. Knight might be able to earn that moniker in the ring. I hope this superstar realizes the opportunity in front of him. Beating Randy Orton would be a career highlight for anybody. It's hard to believe it's been two decades on the hunt in WWE. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, oh, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper's schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. the last of a dying breed, and I have no doubt he's going to show all these enemies in the crowd why that is. It's definitely not a pretty style, but it's effective. But it's so remarkable how his opponent, Randy Orton, has continued to grow and evolve even 20 years into his career. As his mentor once said, evolve or perish. Can he score the pin? And the DDT! The heart 
hardest thing to account for against Randy Orton is his experience. How do you possibly counter a guy with two decades of in-ring action under his belt? Against an expert like Orton, it's all about watching him closely. You need to avoid his big moves and chip away at him. Awareness is going to be absolutely key. Goodness gracious. Orton now dictating the pace here. This can't be how Knight envisioned this fight going. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. They take things into the ring. With the boot. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? What a sidewalk slam. Suplex, no! Driven down! Look at this! DDT! Kneeling, he's getting pushed down into the defensive. When the Viper strikes, he does not hold back. Me. Looks like LA Knight has no respect for his competition. Death press! Rapid fire right hands! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Instead, what a German suplex! to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Just blasting back with an elbow to the face. Bump handle. at the same time. L.A. Knight kicked to the gun. L.A. Knight with the BFT. Will Knight end this? And that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. The apex predator fell prey to a better opponent tonight. I can't believe it happened. This is going to be good. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 418 pounds, Hall and Matt Riddle, high energy. My sources tell me that the entire tag team division is watching this one backstage. That's how important this match is. Here comes the street and their opponents. First, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, 
ソウロー瀬川The younger brother of the Usos but had a far different upbringing When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE Solo was still getting into fights on the street Do so. And from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at three hundred and forty pounds, Keith Lee. Team action in store. There's a science to being a successful tag team. And Cole, I would know all about that. Hey, what about me? Corey excluded you for good reason, Byron. Now back to the action. Sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. Oh, man. Able to sidestep it. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Oh, no, I think we're going to see the electric chair. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Two.
Holds a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Bam! Down he goes. And there's the takedown. Looks like Riddle is doing it. Of that one from all the way over here. Six. Oh my goodness! Oh, close line! Oh my goodness! Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Takes a lot in a match like this. Lariat. Paying it right back with a reversal. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Tag team work from the high red district. Oh my god, did you see that? Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Well. for wear in the corner now. What a collision! Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. He's looking a little weary now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. From the top. to stop in every single part of his body. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. And he barely evades. Wow, lights out. Shot after shot. It's ruthless striking. And he gets tossed back into the mat. some of the high points of that one. Here are your winners, Keith Lee and Solo Sikoa. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.